The song was Baby Come Back. The year was 1978. I'm Peter Beckett of Player, and these are the sounds of the time. Peter Beckett was born in post-war Liverpool, England. When he was in his teens, his brother took him to the city's famed Cavern Club to see a local band who had just returned from a year and a half in Germany. They were called the Beatles. They'd just come back with that look, the black leather and the Hercon Ford and the whole thing. And my brother dragged me down. He knew one of the bouncers. I was too young to go in, but he got me in. I've never seen anything like it. I was real young. The place stunk. It was a basement of a warehouse, it was small, it was smelly, and this band was playing, they were so loud, and I was just like awestruck, and that was it for me. Inspired by the Fab Four, Beckett bought a guitar, and by the age of 16 was in a band, the first of many he would join over the next several years, both in Liverpool and later in London. But it wasn't until he moved to Los Angeles that he made the connection that would determine his musical future. I bumped into a guy called J.C. Crowley at a party in the Hollywood Hills. Everybody was told to wear white. I had nothing white except a t-shirt and jeans and tennies, you know. And he was the only other guy at this party that wasn't dressed to suit, you know. And he had long hair and everything. So I went over and started talking to him. And I found out he was a songwriter from Galveston Bay, Texas. And he was real interesting to me. He was like a real, he had that Texas drawl, you know, and he was nothing like me. Beckett and Crowley started writing songs together and scouted out a few additional talents. By then we had Ron Moss and John Friesen and we'd practiced some more and we wrote another couple of songs and we threw them into the mix, one of which was Baby Come Back. The new band needed a name, which they finally arrived at while watching an old film on TV. It was an old black and white movie and we're drinking beer and, and movie finished. Instead of saying cast at the end, it said, the players, like it, you've seen it, you know. And I said, what about the players? It's kind of like, you know, the Eagles, whatever, you know. And, and then somebody said, it's not the Eagles. They're called Eagles. We said, well, let's just call it Player. And that was it. Player made the rounds of record producers and soon realized they had something special in their repertoire. We went in their office and we sang a couple of songs and they were like, yeah. And then we did Baby Come Back and they just sat there like, jaws dropped and they said, you know what, that could be a hit. The band eventually signed with RSO Records. At an industry showcase after the signing, Beckett made a bold prediction. I don't know what made me do this, but I walked up to the mic and I said, and it, this is before it was a hit. This is, we hadn't, nobody had heard it yet. I walked up to the mic last song and I said, Okay, now we're gonna do our first number one hit. It's called Baby Come Back. I swear to God, it's true. Player recorded their debut album, and Baby Come Back was its obvious first single, thanks to its irresistible harmonizing and unforgettable bridge. Baby come back. Before long, Beckett's prediction of the song's success came true. Our manager came running in and he said, guys, you're number 80 on Billboard, on the Hot 100. And we were just over the moon. We were just so, so crazy happy. And then as the weeks went by, it started to get played more and more and it started to climb the charts. I mean, we couldn't go anywhere without it being, you changed the stations and it was on every station, you know, it was great. The next step was touring, and while Player was traveling the country, Baby Come Back was traveling the charts, right up to the top 10. It hit number one, like somewhere in the middle of that tour. Of course, the reaction had built along those gigs on that tour became, people knew who we were suddenly because they were hearing the song on the radio. Baby Come Back became one of the iconic hits of the 1970s, and more recently, one of the foundational tunes in the newly coined genre of yacht rock. I didn't know what yacht rock meant, but this will explain it. I was told this by 
by a guy who started the Yacht Rock band out of Atlanta, the Yacht Rock Review, because it's pre-machines. It's before all the machines and the synthesizers took over everything, corporate rock. They had this vision of guys like us on our yachts, sailing up Malibu along the coast with a glass of Chardonnay and an acoustic guitar and the breeze, you know, and writing songs on the yacht. But the song's definitive yacht rock style sometimes causes confusion for fans of the genre. I love Hall & Oates. Everybody used to think Baby Come Back was by Hall & Oates. And I once did a gig with Daryl Hall in San Francisco and he said, do you know what our most requested song is? Baby Come Back. And Ambrosia says the same thing, actually. Baby Come Back!